Here we go again. Canada's Catholic bishops acknowledge native abuse. Conference of Catholic bishops officially apologized. There you go. You got your apology for abuses suffered by native children in the residential school system. You mean the rape school system? That one? The torture school system? That one? Oh, the residential. See, you see how we're still using the language that downplays what it is? I will not stop until my phrase, institutional child abuse, is widely acknowledged. Let's, let's continue here. We acknowledge the grave abuses that were committed by some members of our Catholic community. Some members of our Catholic community, rogue, rogue priests, physical, psychological, emotional, spiritual, cultural, and sexual. Canada's residential school system. You see how these, these journalists are complicit in this child rape? Because they don't want to call it what it is. The system forcibly separated indigenous children from their families and subjected them to malnourishment and physical and sexual abuse. The country's Truth and Reconciliation Commission has named it a cultural genocide. The Vatican has refused to apologize for the Catholic Church's role. Unlike all the other churches. I do talk about Catholics, but let's not forget, this is all religion. These are all churches. It's all Boy Scoutism. Global outrage. You see, this is what you get. An apology. An apology for what? Some members... Why did they do this? There's no acknowledgement of why it happened. See, that's the problem. Oh, we apologize that this happened. This was bad, real bad. We're sorry it happened, won't happen again. Except the part that they leave out is they did it on purpose. This was a scientifically designed plan. This was a scientifically designed cultural genocide. This is the process of civilization. Civilization is synonymous with cultural genocide. Nobody comes out of the forest willingly. It's always by force. Institutional child abuse. This is the epitome of institutional child abuse. And institutional child abuse is synonymous with cultural genocide. Cultural genocide is synonymous with civilization itself as well as institutional child abuse. Because without the institutions to abuse children, you cannot make them into slaves. Free people running around the forest does not make a good slave. They're going to try to escape. They're going to try to fight back. You have to mentally enslave people before they really become slaves, and that's what the cultural genocide is. It is a deliberate program of institutional child abuse, which subjects them to malnourishment, physical and sexual abuse, physical, psychological, emotional, spiritual, cultural, and sexual abuse. Every, the entire spectrum of abuse that they can subject to a child is part of these, what do they call them? Residential schools. That's what they call it. After, all, after acknowledging what was done in these schools, that's what they still call them, residential schools instead of rape and torture factories. Instead of acknowledging the fact that this was done for profit. This was done as part of civilization. Progress. Isn't this what you all want? Progress? You want jobs? <laughs> yeah, you want jobs. You want to be a slave. You want progress. You want to be a techno-slave. And yet, no matter what, they still follow the religion, don't they? No matter what, look at this. You want to talk about Boy Scouts? 